Postgraduate training in surgery has been a point of great pride at Michigan for many years. Our residencies, which include general surgery, vascular surgery, thoracic surgery, and plastic surgery, attract talented people from across the United States and have produced some of the most important surgeons in this country. Clinical training is the bedrock of our residencies and will remain our number one priority. But many of our trainees are also attracted to the incredible research opportunities of the University of Michigan. And the fact is that winning federal support for resident research endangers this important opportunity. We're excited to initiate the Resident Research Endowment Fundraising Initiative. It's received incredible support. The Department of Surgery has contributed $6 million as seed funds for this effort. The faculty of the department, who know firsthand the importance of resident research, have pledged $300,000 a year for each of the next 10 years to this effort. The remaining funds to come from alumni, grateful patients, and community leaders. Ultimately, this is about our residents. This is about their futures. These are their stories. Thank you for listening. One of the problems in the field of transplantation and in organogenesis in general is that a lot of people have certain organs that fail and we really don't have a way to replace those organs besides transplantation right now. I think a huge future direction is to take uh, stem cells and those don't have to be embryonic stem cells which have a lot of controversy associated with them but they can be pluripotent stem cells which are generated from people's skin so they're, it's a very easy source of tissue and we can take those tissues and turn them into organs. So right now in the lab, I'm working on trying to make insulin producing cells um, from these stem cells. And so right now we've gotten to the point where we're able to make these mini organs, which we call organoids, and they produce insulin. My dream is that one day we can make not only mini insulin producing cells, which would be a replication of the pancreas, but we can make all different kinds of cells that we can place into patients that will take their dysfunctional organ and make up for that. So the patients can then go on living a relatively normal life compared to before. I think it's very important to have sort of the background to know what the capabilities are uh, currently in terms of our surgical tech, uh, technical ability in terms of where the research field is and what the problems are, and then to take that, take a step back for a moment and be able to spend that time in research tackling relevant problems. I think it's absolutely critical to support this time because it's very important to have surgeons who understand how to do research. At the University of Michigan, we do some of the best research in the country, and we're known throughout the field as being a very strong research institution, especially for the Department of Surgery, and it's because we value this time and we, we support this time, and I think without that, it would not be possible.